Hey everyone and welcome to Gardening with Ben. So today we're going to be talking about spring bulb planting as September is a great time to be planting spring bulbs ready for next year. But we're going to first talk about which spring bulbs you can actually plant this month. So out there when you're purchasing spring bulbs there's so many that you can choose from now they're not just the bog standard spring bulbs that you can purchase years ago it would have just been your normal standard daffodils tulips or hyacinths but now you can get so many varieties of spring bulbs out there the bulbs you can purchase are crocuses tulips hyacinths daffodils alliums snowdrops crocuses probably mentioned them already absolutely loads there's so many to choose from and they're not just the normal standard flowers now they've been altered and tailored so that there's many different varieties out there to choose from and they're getting so impressive that they're there for show as well uh, and they look absolutely beautiful and they can make your garden look fantastic and your allotment. So the reason why we're talking about spring bulbs today is that not only are they good for showing, but they are vital in the garden for the bees. And I mean, not just a bit vital, but very vital. The reason why they're so vital for the bees in the garden is because when the bees wake up from spring, from uh, in spring from their hibernation they are the first things that are out in flower for them to go and enjoy and without the spring bulbs the bees possibly will not have a good enough start to the year without them bulbs to get them going and to wake them up and give them the food that they need and most of the packets that you purchase uh, well the ones that I've purchased are saying on them RHS plants for pollinators so they even say on them that they are vital for the bees so we're going to be looking at which bulbs we have purchased for our garden last year was the first year that I had spring bulbs in the garden um, I've grown vegetables for many years about 16 years now on the plot and I thought I need to start looking into different areas uh, the first thing I looked into was growing flowers as I've not really understood how important things are for the bees uh, but as I've got older and wiser uh, I'm now starting to try and do my bit to help save the bees um, so I think we all need to pledge that we will plant some spring bulbs for the bees so if you're a gardener or have an allotment, please share on your social media that I pledge to plant bulbs for the bees and we will get that going as much as possible. And we need to encourage all our allotment holders and gardens to plant some bulbs on their plots. So if everybody can pledge to plant bulbs for the bees, at that will make my day so make sure you comment in the below to say that you're, you pledged to plant bulbs for the bees and that will be absolutely brilliant so the pl bulbs that you can plant this month are all of them apart from tulips you don't want to be planting tulips this month uh, you want to be waiting till October the end of October to plant the tulip bulbs as they can have issues if you plant them too early so the bulbs that we're going to be planting on our plot. Last year I had some hyacinths, tulips, daffodils and crocuses and some allium on my plot. And I didn't go for the bog standard tulips. I went for the special looking tulips that you can purchase. So that is what I've gone for again. Obviously all them ones should grow back again, which I planted because I left them all in the ground covered up in the soil so fingers crossed they'll all come back and if you've been watching my youtube videos you'll have seen how i'm creating a brand new area on my plot that's not been dug at all in the last 
16 years that I've had the plot, it's just been a wasteland area and I'm planning on having it as full of flowers and items that will attract the bees and make it a special place to go and sit and to enjoy the surroundings around me. So the bulbs that we're going to be planting on our plot are hyacinths. I've got three bags of them four and as you can see they're all multicoloured. The bag shows five uh, but they're definitely only four in them <laughs> uh, and obviously the different colours. So hyacinths obviously are one of the best spring bulbs that you can buy as the smell from them are absolutely amazing. You obviously don't get as many for your money but they are definitely worth having on the plot the hyacinths. Next up we are going for the tulips and again like I said I'm not going for the bog standard tulips that just look like a normal tulip. I like to have something that looks a bit special. So I've gone for the double early tulips. Now I had these last year on the front of my plot. If you've seen some of the photos on my Instagram, Gardening with Ben, you'll have seen how good they did come out. And from what I saw of them last year, how well they did, I've gone back and I've got the same type again for next year. So if you've not tried them ones, eight tulip double early mixed. And then I've gone for another variety of tulip. I don't think I've tried these ones, but they're 12 tulip scarlet baby. So they look pretty special, them ones. I'm quite pleased with how them ones look. And then I've gone for the crocuses. They did really well last year. There's only 16 in it, it's very small bulbs. But they are absolutely fantastic, very small as you can see. So they should be easily planted. I'll plant them in a nice little clump so they'll look good. Then it's the first time that I've ever seen an allium before last year. So I thought they did fantastic. I've saved all the heads from last year's as well. So I'm going to plant all them seeds as well. I don't think they'll grow this year. But I think they say that it takes about two years for the seeds to grow into alliums from what they were before. So I'm going to plant all them ones, what I've saved. And so I've been out and bought six, twelve, eighteen more allium bulbs. And they're going to go in my new area as they did fantastic. And the bees were all over them all the time. You saw bees just sitting on there enjoying them. So if you want one for the bees, go for the alliums. Now, because I saw how well they did last year, I saw this variety, which I've never seen before, and they look absolutely fantastic and beautiful, and they're called Allium Drumsticks. So, I've got three packets of them, and there's four type bulbs in one of those packs. So, that is a fantastic amount of bulbs, just for that amount of money. So, yeah. I'm going to get absolutely loads of them on my plot and it'll look fantastic if all them come out. Can you believe it? <laughs> Blimey. So yeah, I'm looking forward to them going on the plot. They will certainly fill the area up and look, make it look good. Then I've gone for the old favourite of snowdrops. I know snowdrops can spread quite easily, but um, the area that I'm planting them in, it doesn't matter if they do spread as I will be encouraging them to spread in that area and it will fill up a nice gap so yeah snowdrops i know do very well and last but not least i've not seen these before uh i don't know if i'm going to be able to say this name right muscari blue grape hyacinths obviously they look something a bit like a bluebell type thing but these look absolutely brilliant these flower from april to may so there's about 30 bulbs in one of them so that'll be a great addition to the area and it'll certainly add some nice colour uh, in my new rockery area that I'm growing so yeah the only bulbs I've got left to get are the daffodils uh, and I've seen them in my local Tesco um, on offer at the moment for two bags for so much so I'm going to get two of them I didn't want to pay the price that I purchased for them so yeah 
just the daffodils out to get now. So as I said before, I want all gardens and allotments to pledge that they will purchase, even if it's just one packet of bulbs, just to plant one packet of bulbs in the garden to encourage the bees. So pledge to plant bulbs for the bees. That's what I'm asking as many people to do. Let's get these allotments looking absolutely fantastic and in colour and help those bees when they need it. So yeah. So that has been my video on the benefits of spring bulbs. I hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure you pledge to plant the bulbs for the bees and let's get them gardens looking beautiful. Remember to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with all my videos that I'm posting. I'm going to be posting more and more videos these days talking about things and I hope you do enjoy them. Feel free to leave a comment in the below. It's always good to respond to the comments and feel free to give it a thumbs up as well. Also check out my website link below to see all my hints and tips what I share on my website with all my followers. So thanks for watching and remember keep gardening.